Okay, so I've been looking around on the Raspberry Pi forums uh, and I found that there is a bootloader, a bit like Noobs, uh, which you can download and uh, it makes it very easy to install multiple operating systems. So Noobs allows you to install, say, uh, Raspbian for a desktop iOS and also RetroArch for your gaming. Uh, but on PIN, it gives you a load more options besides that. So if you want to install more programs and you've only got one SD card, it's a great way of being able to boot through them. So you want to click on the download uh, and once you've downloaded it, it will appear in your downloads folder. Uh, and then it will be a zip file, so you need to unzip that. Uh, I've just clicked on that. So now I've got a folder called pin dash light. If I double click on that, you can see all the files that are in there. If I hit Command and A or Control A on a Windows computer, uh, and then I can drag that to my micro SD card. And the micro SD card needs to be formatted as FAT32 uh, for this to work. Uh, and you can see it's copying all the files over, what's it, 52.1 megabytes of files. Uh, when you put it in your Pi, uh, it will restructure the files and folders uh, and the partitions to allow it to install multiple operating systems. So that's done. Let's eject that and put it straight in the Pi. Okay, so this is how it boots up the first time. Uh, and as you can see on the first page, there's already quite a lot of operating systems on here. Uh, Gen 2, Raspbian, uh, Nspawn64. If you want to know a bit about uh, those operating systems, you can click on them and then click on the info button. And it will bring up a web browser. Obviously, as long as you've got an internet connection, you can log in with Wi-Fi. I've got a wired connection as usual. There you go. And this tells you about uh, the different operating systems you can install. So let's close that one down and do the same thing for Gen2 uh, and go for Info. Now, sometimes you get a page that looks like this and it looks like it hasn't loaded up. Just press the down arrow on your keyboard. Uh, or press and hold it in this case. Uh, and you can see that there's various different things about support. Uh, tells you about the operating system, tells you about what it works with and various things. Uh, my tip on this is to hit Control and F uh, and then type in P-A-W-S-W uh, or the whole password. And you'll get, like you can see in the middle here, uh, this is giving you your password um, because what you'll often find is you'll boot up the system and uh, you won't be able to find the password. So if I take a photo of that with my phone, I've now got that so I, I know what I can log in with in a minute. So let's close that down as well. And I installed just now uh, the minimal version of Gen2, but there is no uh, desktop environment and uh, that doesn't work so well for me. Uh, and in fact, all these minimal ones, I think, uh, I don't know about the Diet Pi, but the others, they talk about no desktop environment, CLI only. So what I'm going to do is uninstall that one and install the normal 64-bit uh, Gen 2 uh, because it comes with the XFCE4 desktop. So that's one I want. Uh, and what else would I like? Uh, so I'll go for... Yeah, I'll put Lacquer on there as well just so I've got two operating systems on there. I don't know what testing is. Oh, something else there, look, Rasp EX4. Doesn't talk about a desktop environment, so I'm not going to do that for now. So, yeah, media, which was going to give you Kodi, and also an audio file music player. Utility. So this is various things about partitioning, I think. We've done the games bit and testing. Uh, if you look at the top here, so install would be... Uh, that will install the two operating systems that I've selected now. Obviously, Wi-Fi will log you into Wi-Fi. Uh, online help, obvious. Uh, info, so again, if you click on one of them and then hit info, if you want to know what that is, there we go. And this tells you various things about it based on Ubuntu 18.04 and so on. Really nice. There's, there's quite a lot of information on here. Obviously, over time, it's going to get updated, so there'll be even more things. I see on the forums, people have been requesting things to be added. Uh, so clear, I guess, gets rid of everything and escape. There's a main menu option here. So uh, clone, which looks like it copies your 
your SD card. So if you wanted to make a backup copy of an SD card, it looks like you can do it with that. I haven't really gone into that much. Let's just hit more on that again. Edit config, which I guess is for overclocking and things like that, just like it would be a noobs. And this is telling me, that's telling me what's installed. Look, I don't know if you, it looks like you can uninstall that or maybe it's uh, some sort of configuration. But I'm going to uninstall that version of Gen 2. And let's click on more again. Yeah, so let's go back to install, hit install. And hit yes. And I've got 128 gig uh, SD card in here, so I've got room for loads and loads of operating systems. Uh, and this is going to take a while, although it's counting down a lot quicker. Okay, so the two operating systems have been installed, and uh, one has been uninstalled. So I'll click on OK. Uh, by the way, when you reboot, if you've got more than one operating system and you want to be able to select or go back to that main menu, just press Shift when you get to this sort of screen. It will say it up in the top left-hand screen over here. Okay, so when you've got your operating systems installed, so I've got two, I've got Gen 2 and uh, I've also got Lacquer installed. If you go to Exit, that takes you into your boot menu and you can see here that Lacquer is default. If I press Up, Oh, no, if I press Gen 2 and then up and then press boot, what that will do is stick Gen 2 as the first one it will boot to uh, or the default operating system. And there you go. So it now is defaulting to Gen 2. So if I was to restart, it would keep defaulting to that system. But if I press shift when it gets to that uh, sort of black screen with all the colored swirls on it, uh, that will take me back into configuration. I can install or uninstall an operating system. When I hit exit, I can then pick which one I want it to boot into. Uh, and uh, yeah, it works great. Okay, I'll keep an eye on this to see what other operating systems are added and what updates there are. But thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.